How are you doing everybody? Jonathan here. And in this video, I'm going to answer a question I get very often, and that is how do you upgrade clients to larger personal training packages? Now, the number one thing that I would invite you to do is check your intention. Listen, we're all working professionals. We all want to make more money. But you have to understand, if money is the only thing fueling your efforts to get your clients to upgrade, they're going to see all of your actions as disingenuous. The perspective that you want to take is what's going to make my client most successful? Because I'd rather have five really successful clients than 10 unsuccessful ones because those five clients are the best form of marketing that you could possibly have and they'll bring in more clients down the line. Now the great news for you as a personal trainer is that most people need as much face time as possible. I truly look at it as I need more face time with you to make sure that you get to your goal. And the great news is most clients need as much face time as possible anyway, especially in the beginning. So let's talk about what you're doing now, what you're going to do and say to help this client upgrade and alternate routes that you can take just in case extra personal training might be out of your client's budget. Now, while we're on the topic of budgets, I understand that in personal training, we get jaded at charging 50, 60, $70 an hour. But we have to understand that just because our clients drive an expensive car or may live in a really nice house, that doesn't necessarily mean that they have money to burn. So understand that you're asking them to make an additional car payment or maybe even perhaps give up a luxury to train more with you. I'm going to encourage you to look at your clients on a case by case basis and see who needs the upgrading the most. Let's talk about what you're doing now. Number one, the best thing that you can do for all your clients, regardless of the type of personal training frequency they have, is to put together a program that fully meets the needs of your client's goals. So that means you should be working on some default plans for your clients. If your client has a once a week training package and you only commit to providing them information for that one day a week, you're not doing your best by your client. Now, I'm not saying that you have to have an individualized program for every day of the week for each one of your clients, but you should have some things that they can do on their own. I think oftentimes trainers tend to put more energy into clients that they see three or four times a week than they see one time a week because they see that one time a week is not really worth it for them. But if you want to change that one client a week to a three time client a week, you have to show them value. So here's the next thing I'm going to invite you to do. Oftentimes trainers think that their time is so valuable that it's too much for them to give a client a free session. To me, that's pretty ridiculous, especially if you have the time. I remember reading somewhere that it's like nine times easier to keep a client than it is to get a new client. So if that one time a week client was sent to you by the sales department, or even if you sign them up on your own, you have to understand that you can build upon that. But it's first going to start with accountability. Remember those default workouts that you're giving your client? In that one time a week session, are you going back and talking about it? Are you checking your client's numbers, their weight, their body fat on a consistent basis? Are you asking them how they're doing outside of their workouts? Are you leaving an extra five or 10 minutes for your clients to talk to you about the program that you gave them on their off days to make sure they're doing it correctly? That's step one. Step one is accountability. Now here's the great news. There's a very small population of folks that will be able to follow your programs very easily. They're going to stay on their nutrition. They're always going to be on time for their once a week session. They're going to be a dream client. They're going to see amazing results and they're going to give you a lot of credit. This person does not need to be upgraded. This person needs to be showcased on your Instagram page so the rest of your audience can see what just one training session per week can do for a person. Now, like I said before, you don't come across a client like this too often. The next thing you want to do is make sure that that one session per week or that one session every two weeks that you have with this client is the best time of their life. It should be the highlight of their week. They should enjoy seeing you so much. You should be so happy to see them and so energetic with them because when their sessions run out or when they even consider an upgrade, you want them to be thinking, man, I really like training with Jonathan. Now, most of your clients are going to struggle with their sessions when they're not with you. Your constant accountability will help highlight the problems in their efforts when it comes to weight loss or fat loss. So guess what the next step would be? Yes, give free sessions. I don't know why trainers think they're above giving free sessions, but it's an excellent tool. And you want to give them that same shot in the arm. You want to give them that same same energy every time you meet with them. So when they walk out of that free session, number one, they're thankful. And number two, they're thinking, man, I really enjoyed meeting with Jonathan that extra day a week. So you would preface this by saying, hey, Mary, uh, I understand that you're having difficulty with your off days. How about I give you two extra days for the next two weeks just so you can get a handle on things? Now, one of two things is going to happen. Either your client is going to pick up on the program that you gave them, see amazing results and give you a lot of credit thereby giving you more tools to advertise yourself on Instagram, or they're going to realize, man, it's really hard for me to do this on my own. I really like it when Jonathan is with me. So after you've given them their free sessions based on what you think they need in order to see success, you probably want to give them a week of not having it and see what they were able to accomplish on their own. The next week, you may want to revisit this. You can say something to the effect of, hey, Mary, I really enjoy training with you three days a week instead of one. Do you think you might want to move to two times a week or three times a week? instead of one, and especially if it's within the client's budget, your client may be amenable to the idea. To sweeten the deal, you may want to throw in an extra 
five session. So let's say the client is very interested, but they just don't have the means to upgrade to a larger training package. I've always said in videos before that it's always a great idea to have small group or semi-private training in your back pocket. If you watch my video right here on how to make $250 an hour in any location, you'll see that I mapped out exactly how you can have a client come in more than once a week, charge them a little bit less, but train multiple clients at the same time, and in turn, make more money. So I definitely recommend that you watch that video. Consider the advantages. You have the opportunity to build some camaraderie around your clients. If you're on semi-private or small group sessions, that opens up your scheduling so that you can fit more people into one in-demand slot, and you're helping your client by giving them more face time. Moreover, it helps the client. Maybe they can't pay an extra $50 for an hour, but think about if you had the ability to get five of your clients to pay an extra $20 an hour. That's an extra $100. So it doesn't just have to work one way. Not everybody can afford extra personal training sessions. But if you're really looking at what's going to help your client best, you can get a little creative. So let's recap how you're going to do this. Number one, you're going to check your intentions. Number two, you're going to look at your clients on a case-by-case -case basis. Number three, you're going to remember that money may be an issue for your clients. Number four, you're going to make sure that the little time that you do have with your clients is the best time of their life. Number five, you're going to provide them with every resource necessary including workouts that they need to do based on what their goals are in order for them to see their goal. Number six, you're gonna keep them accountable to their workouts when they're not with you. Number seven, if you see that they have a problem with accountability, you're going to offer to give them a couple of weeks of you know, double the sessions per week. Number seven, you're gonna be extra enthusiastic when you do meet them for those free sessions. Number eight, you're not gonna be overly aggressive, but you're gonna be sincere when you say, hey, I really enjoy training with you. Do you think you may wanna to upgrade to seeing me more times per week so I can help you to your goal? Number nine, don't be afraid to sweeten the deal by throwing an extra couple of free sessions if they do decide to upgrade. Number 10, you will always give them other options such as small group or semi-private training to help them get to their goal. And bonus number 11, if they decide that they don't want to upgrade at all, you're not going to take it personally because you've done everything possible to make sure that your client gets in shape. And that's what it's all about. And that's what you have to understand. In sales, all you can do is your best. In personal training, all you can do is offer your services. They don't always lead to sales, but clients will appreciate you putting the work in to making sure that they see success. And I can't tell you the number of times that I've put a lot of work into a client that didn't necessarily translate into a sale with that client. But they were so impressed with my sincerity, my effort, and my professionalism that they referred as many friends as possible. That's how you build a book of business that's heavy in referrals. And that's how you down the line are able to get clients that will sign larger packages with you. So don't get discouraged if it doesn't work every time. In personal training and in sales, nothing works every time. Just do your best. And I guarantee you, you're gonna see more success. So that's about it. There's no magic wand. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you put this into practice. I hope you subscribe to this channel. I hope you share this video and I hope that you guys ask me more questions. I hope to see you every Sunday and Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as always, I hope that you eat healthy, hydrate, drive safe. Stress levels low, get rest, don't slap anybody. Love your clients, they will love you back. I will see you all tomorrow or the next day, and you have a good one. Now, while I can say that I'm not the biggest fan of all the Planet Fitness commercials you see out there, I think the yelling personal trainer is a great depiction of one of the aspects of a trainer bully that you want to avoid. Now, I'm not going to put the whole commercial on this video, but feel free to click here if you want to watch the trainer bully in action. But there's more to being a trainer bully than just yelling too much. Sometimes you need to project your voice. Your client may be far away or you just may really be into the client's workout and not notice how loud you are. Those are exceptions to the rule. 